Hi, and thank you for tuning in. I wanted to um, share with you some of my horror-themed pops that I have in my collection, because I just got um, a couple new ones in, and uh, you might be interested in the newer ones. Um, three of the ones that I have that um, are old, they're from Christmas, um, are the Sanderson Sisters from Hocus Pocus, and I was able to get these um, online. I think you can um, still get them. Um, what is it from uh, um, Halloween Town, I believe? But you know, if you do a uh, Google search on them, I'm, I'm sure you can turn them up. Um, they seemed really exclusive at the time when they came out, but now you can still get them. So if you're a big fan of Hocus Pocus, try to get them. They are wonderful figures. So some of my other older ones. These are fairly new. You can still get these in the stores. Our little shop of horrors. So actually, you know, if you look around, you can find a lot of these uh, in the markdown bins right now. Um, there are two more figures for um, Audrey and for the dentist. And then here's Seymour. Um, Here's big old Audrey too, which is a really hefty figure. And then here's baby Audrey, which was an exclusive to Target. So I never ever saw this out on the shelves. And the only way I was able to get this was to uh, go and ask one of the salespeople to check for me. And then they admitted, yeah, we have them in the back. So uh, they went in the, in the back of the storeroom and, and got it for me. So that's three more figures here from the past. Going much further back now, Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, and Norman Bates, dressed up as mother. Now, uh, for the Norman Bates one, um, there is a black and white version. So that's cool, I don't have that one. Um, there's a bunch of different versions of uh, Freddy and um, Mike Myers. And a new one that has just come out is um, Gage in Church the Cat from uh, Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. So in April 2019, there's going to be a brand new version of Pet Cemetery. And so they released a pop for the, the classic film. Okay. One of my favorite horror characters, as maybe you can tell, is uh, Jason Voorhees. And um, I do have the Jason pop, and I believe I have uh, showed that before in a past video. But I just got something in the mail, and I wanted to share that with you. So this one I tried to look for in the stores and just like with um, Little Shop of Horrors, it was one of those ones that, as far as I know, never got put out on the shelves. When you're opening your boxes, always remember, tint it up a little bit so that you won't damage your pop if it's right up against the surface. I got this on eBay, and I'm hoping it is in good condition because we have Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th Part 2 in the bag with his bag mask on. So this looks like it is in good shape, and the seller put it in a little... Um, Plastic, so very nice. This was an exclusive for Walgreens, 
and um, my Walgreens never got it. In fact, I never even saw it appear on their website, so I am very happy to get it. And um, that's going to go up on the shelves. That looks like it's really nice detail. So um, I hope you enjoyed that. And um, I have um, other horror pops that I collect too, but these are the ones I wanted to share with you today. And uh, I hope you'll uh, like the page and subscribe. Bye.